Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hardcore Fab Shop. Today's video, we're back to work on our C50 build. Now for anybody that's new to the channel, this C50 right here is our build for the 2024 Rat Rod Magazine build off. And we have done a chassis swap on this thing already. We've ripped the cab off of the original 69, 68, 69 C50 chassis. We pulled the cab off, we put it over onto a camper chassis. Big giant camper that we've cut down now, and uh, it is sitting on here. It's bolted down, bolted down, and uh, we've tried to get this thing to where we can start it and run it a little bit and get it to the point where we know a little bit more about the motor. So far, we've only heard this motor run for about three seconds, two seconds. So it does run, but that doesn't tell us everything that we need to know because this truck we are going to be driving to the build off um, ending location, and that is going to be probably around an eight hour one-way trip for us. So we gotta have something that's a pretty decent motor in here to be able to make that trip. Also, for those that aren't aware, this truck is also going to get a matching trailer to go behind it as well, hopefully. But this motor is going to have to be good for us to be able to pull that off. So this is going to tell us whether or not we're gonna have the money left over to be able to build the trailer. So uh, yeah, last time we Almost got to the point where we could fire this thing up and uh, have it uh, run a little bit so we can know a little bit more about it, but we ran into a couple little snags. So uh, let me go ahead and grab the camera and kind of show you what all else we've done since you guys have seen it last. And then we'll go ahead and do the final thing and that is put the radiator in here and then we'll be able to try to fire this thing up. All right, so the first thing we need to be able to make this thing run is obviously gonna be fuel. So we do have now a complete fuel system. We've got the original tank in the truck that we have tied onto the original fuel line on the camper chassis that came up here. We did put a fuel pump on it because the fuel pump was different for the camper than it was for what we wanted to do with this thing. Plus, just figured it would be good to put a new fuel pump on there so we didn't have any problems down the road. And then we had to redo the line from the fuel pump up here to the carburetor. I took that all off, I bent it all around, and then we got one of the El Cheapo little clear filter things. I know, I hate those things, they're garbage. But what it will do is it will let us see in there and see if we are getting a bunch of junk trapped in there from the fuel tank or anything like that. So for now, we're gonna use it, but it won't stay. But uh, we did have to, I did have to cut the line to be able to get it to move and twist the way that it needed to, because. It was really funky down there at the fuel pump. So, uh, got that done though. It's all up here, it's all hooked up. I did go ahead and pop the filter out of the carburetor up there while I had that line off, and it actually looks fairly new. I don't know if someone had been trying to get this thing to run before I ended up getting it or what was going on there, but uh, that's a good sign. So, anyways, fuel system, I believe, is good to go. Um, brake system, which brakes got the hydro boost, so hydro boost has got hydraulic fluid going from the power steering pump. So I think I have that all now in place. It kind of seems like it only goes one way. I didn't know exactly for sure which way the lines were supposed to hook up. But uh, the, way that, the way that I've got it hooked up seems like the only way that it'll go. So got that in place, I believe, right now. Um, did go ahead and get some nuts on the front of the pulley on the water pump there so we get a belt on there We got a belt on there to be able to run the water pump and the alternator We got a belt on there to be able to run the power steering So that's all good. That's all in place The wiring we've got one big hot wire going down here down to the starter And then we're going to just put a jump wire on there over to the solenoid to be able to fire that up there and then we still have the original wire here that we had tied on there from when it was in the camper to jump up to the uh, distributor to power that. So I think that's going to be all right there. Um, I do still have a couple of vacuum leaks that I need to fix real quick. I forgot about that. So just sitting here looking at it, that's doing nothing. Here, I guess I can fix it. Yeah, vacuum leak fixed. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think I got all the rest of the vacuum lines all taken off of there, plugged and or rerouted and whatnot to where I think we'll be good there. So that should be okay. The only thing really left now, like I said, is I think the radiator. So we need to go ahead and grab the radiator and drop it in here. The radiator that I'm using is the one that was out of the camper and originally it had a 
piece that stuck off the back of it that would have sitting in the core support. And that's what was kind of ultimately the final thing that stopped us last time from being able to get this thing kind of to the point where we're ready to fire it up and run it for a little bit. So I ended up taking this over to my friend Aaron King at King Precision here in Hutchinson, Kansas. And uh, he was able to go ahead and take another piece of an old radiator and patch in our hole here from the spout that was on the back and then put us a new cap on there, or a new mount for our cap. So now it kind of looks like an original style radiator you would see in most C10 trucks or C50 trucks or whatever. So now I think this should drop right down here into place and be where we can hook it up. Sweet. Right into the mounts, so we're good to go there. Got a couple pieces of garbage here in the way. Training line hooks right up. Training line will hook right up. The only thing that I am a little worried about are these aluminum lines here from the oil cooler. I'm gonna have to reshape those a little bit and I'm hoping I don't mess those up when I do that. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work on that just a little bit right here and see what I can get bent around and then we'll fill this thing up with some fluid and go grab some fuel, see what we got. So we had one more thing here that uh, we didn't talk about and that was the overflow for the hydro boost and uh, power steering and uh, it just didn't fit anywhere. We couldn't make it work anywhere, could we? <laughs> no. Nope. So Connor is trying to carefully cut the welds off of that little piece right there and not get into the tank and then uh, he's going to move that bracket around to the other side and then we'll be able to actually put it up there and mount to the firewall and it should work pretty good. Meanwhile, back over here, he got the transmission lines in there and the other radiator hoses and stuff there. It just fit pretty decent. We're going to trim it a little bit, but I got one of these oil cooler lines done. I basically, I basically had to take and straighten this thing all out and then rebend it all to make it go in here and kind of fit and curl around and got the hoses up there or the lines up there to where they'll be out of the way. Got one more here to do. I got it sitting here hanging because it's dripping all over the place, making a mess. But let that hang in there for a little bit longer, and I'll go ahead and straighten this thing out and rebend it. All right, Connor got that all welded up and it's mounted to the firewall now. So that's all good because it's actually all plumbed all the way in down to the power steering pump now. I got my line all bent up as you've seen. It's put in and in place. So I think all of our systems are now closed. We don't have anything that's gonna puke anything anywhere. So I think we're ready to go ahead and put some water in this thing, some fuel in it and jump some wires and see what she does. All right, before we go ahead and start the truck, I wanna show you guys what's in this box real quick. It's pretty awesome. So I don't know how many of you are on Instagram and how many of you have heard about benchmark abrasives, but uh, they didn't send this to me. Well, they sent it to me, but it's not them trying to sell me stuff or sell you stuff. They actually send stuff out like this every week to a different person that follows them on Instagram. 
And all you got to do is make a comment on their page and go ahead and share it with one of your friends. And I think tag one of your friends in there as well. Well, I follow Benchmark Abrasives. I use their stuff quite a bit on a lot of things here in the shop. And so does apparently some of our, my followers here. Um, a gentleman, Trevor Golden, I think. No, I, I hope I said his name right there exactly. It's definitely Trevor and I don't know if it's Gold or Golden or something. Anyways, apologize if I messed up your name. But uh, every week for I don't know how many weeks, He's tagged me in there along with you know himself and I think a few other YouTubers and whatnot. And uh, a couple, two or three weeks ago, actually won. So when he wins, I win, we both win, we both get this box, which is pretty cool because they send you out a bunch of flap wheels. And I think that's all that's in here. Oh, there's some hand cleaner in here too. So, I've never used their hand cleaner. That'll be interesting. We'll see how that works. Anyways, flap wheels. Typical flap wheels like you'd see anywhere. But these things are pretty good. Nice thick flat wheel, flap wheel. And like I said, I use them quite a bit. <clears throat> this particular one is one that actually has a little bit of a bevel to the paper. They got some that are perfectly flat. They got a bunch of different kinds and styles. So you guys ought to go over and check them out. And if you're not already, follow them on Instagram and go on there and comment. And I guess you too could win some flap wheels and win some for one of your friends. If you don't have any friends to put in there to nominate, nominate me like Trevor did. I'd be happy to get some more of these. Like I said, I use them all the time. So anyways, back to the truck. So I don't want to put, I don't want to put any fuel on it yet. So to begin with, I don't have the distributor hooked up mm -hmm. so that we can crank on this thing a little bit. We'll get some oil pressure built up in there since we've been set for so long without any oil and stuff in it. Mm -hmm. And then we'll also be able to watch and see if we're going to get some fuel built up here. So once we see some fuel up here to that crappy little filter, then we'll go ahead and worry about hooking up the distributor power and then we'll put some fuel on it. As long as it starts, or as long as it cranks down, so, mm -hmm. which it should. Trying to start it. We're uh, actually we're trying to get fuel up to it right now first. Let's uh let's take the air compressor and we'll shoot a little air into the tank and help kind of prime it. Mm -hmm. How's it going with you? I just ran out of paint, so I got all parts there. Yeah, paint. How many times do you need to get up the stairs? <laughs> stairs are fun, aren't they? So while the cover's getting the air compressor and uh, we're gonna put a little bit of air pressure into the fuel tank, help kind of prime this thing, get some fuel coming up there. Actually, we're getting fuel now. We're good, Connor, Never mind. We're getting fuel up here now. So I guess we don't have to do that. Um, you guys seen Brady in the background there and you'll probably hear some noise up above us here in a minute. We got some really cool stuff happening right now that's uh, going on in the background. You guys are going to want to check out next week's video or may end up being the week after or something like that, but uh, next week or two, anyways, we got some really cool stuff happening here at the shop and uh, I'm excited to share it with you guys. So keep an eye out for that. But uh, yeah, we got fuel up here now. So now we need uh, some power to the distributor and we can fill up the carburetor and go from there. Sweet. Actually, let me just crank it a little bit more and we'll just fill up the carburetor with the uh, fuel pump. Sweet. I 
don't know if the battery will last or not. Yeah, so batteries are like it's getting weaker. Yeah, it's from 2019, so yeah. it's not exactly a newbie. Mm -hmm. uh, let's just grab the stuff and do it. Can you reach back there where that wire, this blue wire, is tied on? Mm -hmm. Where it was tied on. Just clamp that onto it. Good. Yep. I'm just gonna sit this one underneath the clamp for the starter. And uh, fuel. Let's get that all over. Just fill it up everywhere with fuel. Yep. Like in this one. If you get a nice coat of fuel over everything, it'll burn all the dirt off once it backfires. Mm. All right, we clear. Uh, please. Okay. Man, this thing fires right up when it gets a little bit of fuel. <laughs> yep. And we got all the cylinders gonna be hitting this time instead of like when it was in the when it was in the camper. My hole really does kind of suck there. Just putting fuel everywhere. Yeah. Should be getting fuel here soon. So. Yeah, it's you know, filled now, so. Ready? Yep. fire if it backfires because I got fuel everywhere. <laughs> Are you videoing this? You're on video now. Oh no I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Your voice is. Ready? I just watched that distributor move. What was that all about? Don't know. The cap. I don't think the cap's on tight. Let me grab a screwdriver and tighten up the cap. The back to two clamps must be loose. Oh. It's just so tight up against that firewall. It must have bumped it, taking the cab up or something. And yeah, I, mean, I don't know. Because it's right there. It's hard telling. filter. I don't know where the cap for the radiator went. It's laying around here somewhere. I, I might have one. <laughs> you think one of those caps should fit? Oh no wait, I already sold those and shipped them, didn't I? Well, those were gas caps. Okay, we got plenty of fuel in there now. Let's see what happens. Fire is what's coming. Fire. 
Fuel pumps are filters all full. as it was the first couple of times there's no yeah, so something, something happened with that cat i'm gonna try it one more time has it, yeah. has it, has it jumped at all it's out of time now yeah yeah we do all timing yeah 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 it's missing it's pretty good. all right just pump the cap off when we got it, see what happened, did. Hmm. That didn't sound good. We can see the ball out of it. <laughs> that don't sound good at all. Completely gone. We're gonna have to get a different distributor cap. Okay. Well, yeah, the whole whole end of it broke off. You guys can see that or not. This is the button out of it. It's supposed to be in there. Something like that. <laughs> and it broke off. So I guess we're gonna have to go uh, see if we can scrounge up another distributor cap real quick and Give her a shot again. What's the what's it look like there on the rotor? Right there in the center on that little thing there. Yeah, there's a little tab right there, and that's there. That's looks fine. It looks okay. A good flashlight just there. Yeah, I can't see anything. It's too dark back there. Can I see it? Can I feel it? No, it looks all right. Little well, crap all up in there. But... Yeah, all kinds of shit from when this broke and come apart in there, but. Probably ought to blow those, that out. Yeah, maybe. Are those connectors there or anything? Or are those just connecting up to its base? Like, I don't know what you're screw. talking about, but it's fine. Okay. <laughs> the, two, the two screws on the end. Okay, we've got a used distributor cap that Julie went and found over to the other shop. And I don't know how we allot that to our budget. What's a used distributor cap from 1985 worth? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I, I don't think know. that's negligible. Anyways. Because it's something we already had. It was under the bench. Oh, you place stain here. Yeah. Okay. Connor did blow that out when uh, Julie was gone, so hopefully we'll be able to just pop this down on there and it'll fire back up and run again. Okay, let's fire in order, hmm. let's fire in order, hmm. remember, you don't remember? Yeah, well, on the distributor side or the block side? On the distributor. I don't remember on the distributor side, that one's always... <clears throat> One. One starts here. One starts there. Or is so it like 1-8? One, eight. It's 1-8. One, but you're going the wrong direction. It goes clockwise. Okay. 180. Three. Four. Four. And then three. And three. And then seven. Six. Six. Five. Seven. Two. Seven. Two. So, number one. Um, 
eight. Four. Four, three. three. So this one. clearance on the back side yeah yeah that's right up against the firewall should have pulled that out before you put it on there but you know when thinking about that right so one eight four three six five one eight four three six five so six or I was gonna say how are you <laughs> Evens are on my side. Seven. Nope, that's not seven, that's two. hanging around the back side of the block. Still so film that over the train. I see it. I can see it. I think I can get it. <laughs> Maybe. Yep, I got it. Oh, did you know? I can get it. Boots a little torn. Your boots a little torn. Hmm. It's all in there. Yeah, yeah put it on there. Work for now. Oh, well, that was the one that had a little bit of. It's not torn. It's got mice teeth on it. Hmm. Because it sit out of the farm with new wires on it for like two seconds, and that's what mice do. Yep. Oh, I'll hook this wire back up. Okay, we're ready to do this again. Yep. Distributor wire underneath our clamp here for the starter switch. That's a bunch of fuel. See what happens. Fire in the hole. Make sure you trace those. Did you get a distributor cap that was bad? It was on a whole distributor. Oh, it was on a distributor? Clamped, but sitting on. What the heck? Yeah, when you've got those wires right? Oh, did you plug the distributor back into the cap? It's not. I can see it from right here. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> That'll help. Yep. Hopefully. All right, I bet it hits now.
not sure that our carburetor is getting fuel in it 100%. Might have to tear it apart and put a kit in it. Hmm? One more time. Backfired. Hmm. Thought I was hearing a little something clattering too, but I wasn't for sure. It's kind of hard to tell with the exhaust. It's also loud. Things not, you know, temporarily sitting here, there, or whatever. I think it's that paint that uh, has been painted on those headers that's burning off. But it's running. Our working fuel pump. Well, the fuel pump's working. Okay. It's got fuel right up here too. It sucked it all the way from the tank to there. So we need to so, the probably need to put a kit in the carburetor. You got a different carburetor? Um, no. Steal the one off the whole crew? I don't think putting a demon carburetor on here would be the best way to go because that carburetor is going to add too much value to this thing. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, but it's what we have laying around. That's not the way it works. It's perceived <laughs> all right. value. All right, all right. A quadrant carburetor versus a demon carburetor is a huge difference. Okay. I haven't brought my carburetors over yet. So we just get a $15 kit or $20 kit or whatever it is and put it in there and we'll be good to go. So I guess that's kind of where we're at then. So while we got Connor sitting here, since Connor doesn't watch our videos, I'm gonna call him. I'm here. Connor. I don't need to. <laughs> I know. I'm, this is the one person I don't have to, you know, give shit about too much because he is here, so he knows what happens in the videos. Except. Except you didn't know what we did in the video before last. I guess not. Well, the video before last, you just graduated, and we told everybody you just graduated. And we have a thanks button down there at the bottom of the thing, and we told anybody that wanted to give you a graduation present, they could hit the thanks button and donate whatever they wanted to, and we would give you 100% of what came in. Okay. So uh, there is actually, um, I think you end up getting, what was it? I can't remember the exact number now, but it was like 50 some bucks. Awesome. So that, Everybody, or not everybody, but some people <laughs> donate. So thank you, I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, That's a lot. Yeah. 
So uh, you might want to actually go watch that video and go into the thing there and, and actually thank some people. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought it was going to be, I thought those thanks were unanimous, you know, uh, anonymous, you know, where people wouldn't. Anonymous. You know, anonymous. Thank you. God, I can't speak today. Bring yeah, we didn't, we didn't know. We anyway, haven't really done and, that so too much. In, in, yeah, in the future I'll look at the thanks and see if I can adjust it. But yeah, you can actually see in the comments all the people who get So you'll know. We know who you are and we appreciate it. And there was a bunch of people that just, you know, shouted you out and said, you know, congratulations on... And congrats and all that. Congratulations on um, graduating and whatnot. So you need to go back and look at that video. I'll do that. Thank and you. for anybody that was wondering and wondering why he hasn't said anything, that's the reason why. <laughs> That's awesome. Appreciate it. Well, I guess, I don't know. Are we going to call this a wrap? Because we're going to have to get a car repair kit and okay. all that, and it's getting late, and today's Wednesday. Yeah, we're going to have to, and uh, I'll get on the on the interwebs and get that kit coming. I mean, Connor can go back to removing the body line off of the 53. Mm -hmm. We can open up a door and get some smoke out of here. <laughs> yes, and I'll go edit video. And, uh, yeah. So, I guess that's all we got for you guys on this one. Appreciate you guys watching, following along, and I guess we'll see you guys next Wednesday at 7. Right on. Um, you. Did you tell them about next week's video? I did. <laughs>